Okay, uh, good morning guys. Just uh, heading out on my ride here. Uh, it's a beautiful day and uh, I've been trying to record this uh, for a couple of times now <laughs> and uh, there was some issue or the other. So uh, all good now and uh, I'm just going to head out on my usual route here, our usual couple of days uh, route. <laughs> uh, but there is a small gravel road I was looking at and I'm going to probably explore that now. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, what it is. Uh, well, let me make sure this gear this door opens. Sometimes it doesn't open for a motorcycle. Okay. Mm. Okay. I gotta go the other route. Uh, let me make sure my maps are here. Osmond is what I use. Um, It's a pretty good. Uh, this works. Okay, I think now we are all set. Uh, let's go check it out. Ha, it's a beautiful day. It's about. Uh, hmm. It gets to about uh, 100 these days easily, so um, uh, today is supposed to be a cooler day, it's going to go just up to the 90s, <laughs> so that's Texas for you. Uh, so uh, that's where we are, We are. this is the Possum Kingdom Lake right here, it's a beautiful place uh, and uh, beautiful motorcycling roads all over this place, yeah, you see it, you can see it. Beautiful. A lot of curvy roads, a lot of uh, off-road. It's gorgeous uh, around this place. Hope there is not too much wind noise. Uh, uh, this climb helmet is really good, at least for the summers. You know, a lot of airflow, even uh, with the uh, visor uh, fully down on a summer day, is not too bad. So other than that, uh, you know, I've not been doing much, I've uh, been pretty busy, uh, you know, just uh, moving and everything else, but uh, now I'm uh, planning to get back on the road. Uh, initially I thought I might do the uh, New Mexico BDR, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that right now. So uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. So oh, it's another uh, beautiful road here. Uh, uh, so I hooked up with a few people uh, on Facebook uh, who are in this area. So hopefully I'll get to uh, see those guys and uh, hook up with them on some rides. Uh, but uh, you know, as you know, uh, I'm uh, pretty comfortable exploring places on my own, so uh, that's not a problem. So uh, I've seen a small road here, uh, which, uh, which is kind of a gravel road, I think. I wanted to explore, and there's another uh, loop here, which I went. You know, uh, there are some really, really interesting small roads around the area. You can see uh, windmills, uh, hills around everywhere. So this is called the uh, Palo Pinto County of uh, Texas. Uh, so this is uh, uh, close to Dallas, but uh, you know it's called the Hill Country of uh, Northern Texas. So uh, <laughs> there are some hills around here. Okay, this road is what I wanted to take here. This is a kind of a spur road here.
Uh, it's got a small camping area too in the side, I think. <laughs> So I don't uh, get to go to the uh, Friday meetups uh, as often anymore. I will uh, get around to that once I settle down here. But look at this view, it's just gorgeous. There's a house right there. <laughs> so this is just gorgeous, goes down into the canyon here. This is a small fork of the uh, lake here. Okay, that was a small uh, detour I took uh, uh, to get on the side roads there. Uh, the roads out here are gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, as I said, I'm just going to find another uh, small place, small gravel road which I found. Let's see how that is. Oh, the roads seem a lot better on the motorcycle than on the car. Right? Even the car sometimes they look good. Okay, uh, we're coming uh, to the Wildcatter Ranch here. It's beautiful. And I think after that is where uh, there's a Salem loop I need to take. go. This is the uh, Salem Loop I've been wanting to take. Uh, let's see how this goes. A nice set of off-road here. I think I need to ch tighten my chain a little bit. I think. gravel here. That's pretty straightforward. Nothing difficult. That is beautiful. countryside, the ranches.
Okay, what road is this? Oh, that's the road I needed to take. That's the old 16 road. Good to be back on the gravel. Get the basics back. <laughs> Lean, it's all about the legs. And look ahead. bit of gravel there. To Greyford and then we will circle back. Grayford to uh, get some uh, donuts and then uh, we will uh, continue on uh, to some other roads out there. <laughs> so uh, beautiful here, hills all around me, the view was beautiful I was, I was, as I was coming down the hill there. Hey, uh, windmills in the distance. So here, a lot of the land is also um, uh, it is uh, lifted up. So you feel like you're on a flat ground, but then, as you can see now, you just drop into a canyon and then it goes up, so it's interesting how the uh, topography is in this area One of the uh, tributaries uh, which flows into the uh, Brazos River goes under here or under this bridge So you can see it's a beautiful road here
have a cafe here. <coughs> I saw a GSA standing out here the other day. I guess that gentleman is not in for breakfast today. As a Mercedes Benz. This is our downtown. It's a business loop too, so. Interesting. Uh, let's check out the donut shop. I guess they're closed today. Hmm. hmm. I guess that's what happens. Okay. More uh, motorcyclists and not a GSA, but uh, there was some, uh, somebody else there. <laughs> okay, uh, now we can probably head on over to uh, uh, Palo Pinto. Maybe you'll find some donuts there. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to take uh, Route 4 which goes down to uh, Palo Pinto although I saw a beautiful uh, off-road loop not loop but an off-road uh, uh, diversion there which I might take some time but right now just head on to find some donuts Motorcycles on this road here. It looks like a popular route for people. That was the Fortune Bend Road, which I wanted to take, eventually get there. Oh, beautiful view here of the mountains and the ranch here, nice. This is gorgeous places here. TCU fan, Moon Brogues. Crossing the Brazos River somewhere here. Yeah. Yep. There's the Brazos River. Oh, it is gorgeous. I think it's a good place to check out your canoe. Wow. Gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. I need to make a stop there sometime. OK, 
Okay, there were no donuts in Palo Pinto, so we had to head on now to uh, Mineral Wells and uh, we probably find some there, I think. And then uh, we'll get back uh, on 16 and then uh, head on over. That's the plan. I will keep you posted. This is a beautiful uh, road 180 getting down, getting down into Mineral Wells. This area is again gorgeous. Such of a beautiful uh, road here. Again, Brazos River. It keeps crisscrossing us. All oh, people fishing, bathing. Man, there's so many things to be done on the river here. Getting in the, into the town of uh, Mineral Wells. Uh, let's hope for the donut shops are open here. Oh, there it is. Texas Donuts. Oh, it's closed. That's what I needed. Donut Supreme. Okay. Let's hope they have some donuts now. Okay, that was uh, some wonderful donuts and some coffee there. Uh, that was always good. Donuts are I guess the number one most satisfying uh, uh, food, I would say. Okay, I need to take my. Okay, head on over back to Grayford. That's the uh, hotel I was talking about. I probably uh, need to Google their names. I forget what it is. But uh, that used to be a famous hotel back here in uh, Mineral Wells. And uh, there is uh, some springs out here where the water is really good and stuff. So maybe sometimes we'll come and check it out. But uh, that is the claim to fame of this beautiful city of Mineral Wells. Welcome to Mineral Wells. Welcome home of the crazy, crazy two blocks. That's the um, spa and uh, all the other uh, stuff which we talked about. There's a beautiful uh, Italian restaurant out here, Pasta Farina. Uh, it's beautiful uh, food out here, one of the best on this road right here what happened was uh, when I was moving here my right at this spot my Range Rover broke uh, the drive shaft so I was stranded here for a couple of hours uh, I found that restaurant and by the time the AAA guys came and uh, bailed me out I enjoyed some uh, good food so uh, that's the history of Mineral Wells uh, I will catch you guys as we get on uh, closer to home. Okay, uh, this is a beautiful stretch of road which uh, starts from here uh, for about 7-8 miles as you get on to uh, Grafford. But this is the uh, 337 and uh, it's some um, beautiful 
beautiful uh, hills out here. There are basically two uh, sets of uh, hills you cross over. So you go up one and then you come down and then you go up the other one and then come down into the town of Bradford. So it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I uh, will let you guys enjoy the ride. Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. The road going up there. That's what I was talking about. This is Texas. <laughs> okay, so you go down, that's the town of Grafford, and then the Possum Kingdom Lake is on the other side there. Okay guys, uh, take it easy and I will uh, catch you all later then.